right, I'm Steve Dowden with High Lift. I'm here with Austin Hare of High Lift. We're out in Moab today, um, enjoying this beautiful weather and this beautiful scenery. We thought we would take a little um, opportunity while we're here to kind of show some people, show everybody how you can um, do some repairs that may be needed to your jack on the trail. Um, it doesn't always work out perfectly that you have the opportunity to um, be in a, a garage or somewhere where uh, you've got everything on hand to uh, to uh, do the repairs that you need. But while we're here, we thought Austin could kind of walk us through some of the repairs that would take place on the trail for your high lift jack. And we happen to have uh, our fix-it kit with us, which is something we highly recommend that you carry with you at all times in case um, you do need to do some repairs um, on the spot. So. Austin, I'm gonna let you kind of step right. through here and kind of show some of the things that we do to, to make that happen. Okay, well, first of all, um, if we have to make a repair on the trail and replace the working parts, uh, the easiest way to do it will be definitely to carry one of our fix-it kits with you. It's got replacement climbing prints, replacement climbing pin springs, cross pins, and the safety shear bolt and nut. Um, you're going to have to have some tools with you to do this. So what you're going to need to have are usually typical tools you'd carry in your rig. Uh, uh, we need a half inch wrench, half inch socket and ratchet, decent punch, and the ball peen hammer works best. So what we're going to do first is we're going to drive the cross pins out so we can access the climbing pins. The way you want to drive these out is from the lifting nose side towards the handle side. And when we install it later, we'll go vice versa. So we'll drive these pins out and access the climbing pins. Okay. Now we get the cross pins out, we can pull the climbing pins out and inspect them for wear. These are not going to have any wear on them, but over time, you'll notice on the bevel that you can actually get some wear, which will cause more handle travel than what is normally needed. But these are good. But we're going to go ahead and install the new ones while we're at it. So we'll pull the springs out, and they're good as well. But since we're doing this, we'll put new ones in. While we're getting that ready, we can go ahead and take the most common wear item of the jack out, which is the safety shear bolt and nut. This is what breaks or bends when you overload the jack above its capacity. And this one, it's got a little wear on it, but it doesn't have any bend or bow to it, so it's still in good shape. But while you have all this stuff out, it's never a bad idea actually take some WD-40 or brake clean or even a bottle of water and just clean the whole area where we're working. Make sure there's not any burrs or dirt. Seems to be fairly well. So now inside the fix-it kit, you've got both your climbing pins, springs, cross pins, and a safety shear bolt and nut. So we'll start out by putting the springs in first. Line them up in the holes. Okay, now it's time to put the climbing pins in. The climbing pin has a bevel on one side and it's flat on the other. We always want to make sure the bevel is facing upward on the bar. That way it actually will climb. You don't want to do it that way. You always want to put it in this way. So we'll drop that one in. Drop this one in. Next, we do the cross pins that Steve is getting. What you do here is you actually pick up the spring and you want the spring to be above the cross pin on both sides. This kind of can get a little tricky from time to time, but just hold it up with your fingers like that and we drive this back in. Once we get it on the other side of the spring, then you can use your punch, but this cross pin needs to ride on both these rails, right here 
and right here. So we drive it in a little bit. Check it. And that's right there. So then we move to the bottom pin. Same way with it. The bevel goes up. up, pull the spring up, and there you go, that's that part. Then we'll come, let's put the safety shear bolt that back in. Just line up the holes, it goes right through, and right on the bottom. And that should work. So now after you get this done, it's always best just to take the jack out of your makeshift vise or whatever you've got. And we'll give it an extra score in WD-40. The kit does come with a little pack of lubricant. Um, which works great if you don't have anything else. It's WD-40 as well, but if you've got an aerosol can, that's usually a lot better. But you just you want to make sure you put the reversing switch down, spray there on both the pins. Never hurts to give it a little shot here. And this is something you want to do before each use of the jack anyway. test it and make sure that everything's in working order. So, find something, lift from. Run it up four or five clicks, put the handle against the bar, reverse the switch. switch up that way your pins aren't exposed they can be damaged this way but if they're up they're in the jack better that's how you do a fix a kit on the trail